Welcome back to the Red Dice Diaries and in this RPG Boo Bears video I'm going to talk about, as the title suggests, too much NAF flavour text in RPGs. Now, what I mean by flavour text? Well, you can call it what you want, in-game, fiction, whatever, but basically it's fiction or other pieces of writing that are there to give you a, a flavor if you will of what the game is like now flavor text when used judiciously can be a great thing for game it helps give you some idea about what the author envisions as the default mood of the game it can also spur some ideas and get you thinking about what you want to do in your own game your own campaign etc However, in my opinion, it does need to be used sparingly. It's like if you're if you're putting some salt or a seasoning on a, a meal. Would you rather have someone come along, taste it, put a little sprinkling of salt on it just to make it taste a little bit better, or for someone to reverse a huge f dumper truck up to your plate and just bury it in a huge mountain of salt? Now, it's not an exact analogy, but I'm hoping you'll see what I mean. There are a few games I've looked at recently where you seem to have to wade through an awful lot of in-game fiction or flavor text before you can even actually get to the game itself. Now, in a few books I've read where this has happened, it comes off to me as though the author's constantly sort of jumping up and down saying, hey, hey, look at how cool my game is look at how cool my game is oh it can do this it can do that isn't it cool which is fine everyone when they've they've poured their blood sweat and their tears into something wants people to appreciate it that's entirely understandable but the f i'd far rather as an adult as someone who's read a lot of rpgs and owns a lot of them as you see behind me i'd much rather the author show me how cool the game is rather than just tell me it's the difference between actually, you know, when someone's saying in a conversation when they get, they, they detail some story that sounds just a little bit flat and a little bit banal, and then they say, oh, well, you had to be there. It's the difference between actually being there and experiencing an event or listening to someone's second hand account. I'd far rather get the system, get the game, have a chance to look at it, have a chance to embrace it play it myself and then make up my own mind whether it's cool or not or what i think it can do for me and whatever group i'm running the game for rather than constantly having the authorial voice telling me that the game's going to be cool and trying to do it through in-game fiction now another part of my problem with this is that if i i don't really buy game books for fiction i buy RPG game books because I'm planning on running that game. That's why I buy it. Now, if I want to read fiction, I, I'll, I'll buy a, a normal book. I won't buy an RPG for it. So therefore, I appreciate in-game fiction being used sparingly. It should just be adding just a little bit extra on top of an already good game. It shouldn't be trying to make up for shortcomings in a game or trying to artificially create this mood of a game being cool or edgy or gritty or whatever. And there's quite a few sort of World of Darkness style games that have sort of fallen into this trap where they try and convince you that a game's gritty or edgy or dark or rock or whatever by just ladling it high with heaping dollops of angst ridden flavor text and white wolf publications are far from the only books that have done this but i've read a few of them where they do so that's my rpg bugbear too much naff flavor text i think flavor text in game fiction is great when used sparingly to reinforce the concepts of the game it shouldn't be used instead of or you shouldn't have to wade through pages and pages and pages of it just to actually get to a game that you have purchased. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, and you consider clicking on like and subscribe, hit me up in the comments section. Let me know what you think about this video, what your opinions are on in-game or flavor text. And whatever you're playing, take care and happy gaming. We'll see you next time.